You driving? Some plan Bs are smarter than others. If you're drinking, don't drive. RBT means you need a plan B. Oh. Authorised by New South Wales Government, Sydney. Yeah, I think it played um, probably a bit better than yesterday. The overhead conditions played a bit of a part in the morning, but um, whilst they didn't lose a wicket in the middle session, we scored 175 runs yesterday, they scored 50 today. So it was very different. The pressure that we built throughout the day allowed us to sort of dictate the whole day what fields we set, what plans we bowled to. Um, Husey played a fantastic inning, so did Ferg. So I think... Um, it was crucial that we got both those guys out towards the end of the day. It allowed us to have a crack at some of the tail with a new ball. Um, and then hopefully we can turn up tomorrow morning and produce a good couple of spells and um, knock them over. I think Steve O'Keefe and Manjot Singer coming into the game more and more. There's that real turn there on day two. So, you know, we get, we get the ball last on this. So I think we're right on the upper hand of the game. It definitely feels like there's still a result, uh, you know, possible for both sides. Definitely, no doubt. Seems like it's tough for bat and ball. Uh, I think if you get the ball in the right areas, it's it's tough for tough for the batters, particularly when they start. When when they come, uh, sort of 50 balls or more, um, the ball comes onto the bat nicely. It's lightning outfield, and um, it can be hard once you've got an older ball um, to, I suppose, build dots and build pressure and dictate as a bowling group but Sean Abbott bowled a fantastic spell there of about eight or nine overs before tee of bumpers and um, you know I think Husey batted beautifully through it but it looked like it troubled him a bit and um, you know there's different ways of getting around it but I thought we did pretty well today. Yeah because I mean Phil he was with that short ball that spell I mean he chose not to play the play the hook shot but and you guys had two men out there but I mean I guess it was probably a feature of his game in the past that may not have been there against short, short pitch bowling. Uh, Oh, I think I think it's one of those things that um, no doubt he's worked on that a lot and he got through the tough spell today and then cashed in at the end of the day. So, you know, whether it's short pitch bowling or, or you know, outside off or trying to square him up, I'm sure he's got things to counteract all of that and that's why he's such a good player. So we had our plans, they didn't quite work for us today, but, um, you know, we'll come back bigger and better tomorrow. You've played with him plenty, uh, you know, at, at domestic level and he's, he's got 300 this year. Um, already he's you know, 550 odd runs, um, what, what sort of form is he seeing at the moment? At the moment? Yeah, he's in pretty good form, the youngster. Um, yeah, I thought he was, he's pretty stiff the way his um, career sort of gone the last, last couple of years. I think he's been consistently one of the biggest scorers in domestic cricket. Um, shame to see him go to the Redbacks, but uh, you know, I think it, it's good for him that he's gone there, he looks settled, he's you know, got a clear head out in the middle and he's striking ball beautifully. So. He certainly can't bowl outside his off stump still. So, um, yeah, no, I think he's a, he's a good fellow and um, I wish him all the best. I'm sure he's pushing to get back into the international side, but first and foremost, the Redbacks are doing well. They're on, you know, on 16 points right behind us and it, he's played a massive part in that.